Hello, I'm Hans Lee from Livewire Markets and welcome to our Fund and Focus series. Our guest today is Clinton Arendt from Trilogy Funds and we're going to be profiling the Trilogy Industrial Property Trust. Clinton, great to see you. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. So, give us an elevator pitch for this unlisted property trust and the objectives that you, uh, you work towards. Right, we built it up uh, starting 2018 and sy systematically over time have added assets to it. They're all typically single tenant assets, so much easier to manage that way and they're a scale of 15 to 30 million in size. Very nicely geographically diverse and also diverse through their um, industry type as well. Okay, good to know. And single tenant, of course, we mean one person. Yeah, one company. Order. Typically one large company, uh, manufacturing company, e-commerce company, logistics company, um, a range of different types of tenants. Excellent. So I'm, I'm interested to, to hear, why did you want to offer the fund to investors in this particular format? Well, we could see the benefits an unlisted property trust is relatively inexpensive to operate. We charge management fees, fees of 0.5%. Uh, so it's pretty low cost operation, so most of the benefits are passed through to individual investors and they, it's like a direct property investment, uh, but, but you know, managed through us. So if I think about you know, what direct investors who might be watching this video might be thinking, I'm curious, why should a, an investor consider an entire trust like yours when there are companies like Goodman Group and Charter Hall that can offer direct exposure to the same kinds of properties you're looking at just directly on the stock market? Well, they're exposures in that sense, but they're also listed on the stock market, so therefore they're subject to those vagaries of investor moods, and that can change from week to week, as we see with stock market rises and falls. I mean, th this is more stable in that regard. It's measured on its long-term asset values in that sense, and of course uh, underlying uh, the income streams which support those asset values. So it's quite a direct exposure. It's simple, it's fuss-free, investors can see what they're purchasing. Uh, they, there's a list of all our assets on the trust uh, website at any given time, uh, and it's, as I say, cost-effective and diversified. Well, good to know about the transparency as well. So how does this fund differentiate itself from other property trusts like it? Well, we've typically been a high yielding trust. So we've looked at areas of the market that were perhaps underpriced or undervalued as we saw them uh, over the time since 2018. That's proved to be the case. We've seen good value increase. Uh, through most of the assets that we've secured. And we've also seen, more importantly, good rental growth as well. But we're very selective with how we choose these assets based on location, based on industry type, and also based on building type as well. Okay, good to know. So we've talked a lot about the buildings, the different building types, the different tenants, the different locations. Tell us maybe about a couple of the assets in the fund and how they're indicative of your process. Well, I'd say they're grassroots industrial investments. And don't forget that for investors, there's very little chance of them being able to get the same scale or the same diversity uh, unless they want to create their own $250 million portfolio. So this gives investors that chance. They get the benefit of the diversity, the scale, our expertise, our management approach as well. Um, and, uh, you know, I would think we continue to grow this particular trust over time. We've had tremendous success to build it up to 15 properties now. But as we gather that success, there's more opportunities presented to us. So we, long term, we could see the trust growing in size you know, quite considerably. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, you talked about yields earlier. So what kind of a distribution profile can investors expect? Well, over time, uh, the all up returns been just under 10% or 9.7%. Um, last year, it's a little less because we've seen a little bit less capital growth as markets stabilise, you know, post COVID and interest rates stabilising and the like. Uh, but somewhere between that 7.5% to 9.5% is a, is a range that we would expect to see moving forward. Uh, there's a little bit of movement in that because you're sort of driven by income profiles a little bit, but all those income profiles across the various assets have been quite strong. We've seen strong uh, rental growth uh, in some sectors and we expect to see more rental growth given very high levels of demand and very low vacancy rates. We'd expect to see that rent growth continue. So to finish up, now that we've uh, talked about the fund, the assets in the fund, mm and obviously the distribution profile too. What are the minimum investment requirements for this fund and are there any high level technical information that maybe a prospective investor should know about? Well, there's a lot more information available on our website. And as you mentioned earlier, we're transparent like that. We also have investor relations people who'll happily take a phone call at any time. So we're quite open uh, to, to that direct approach from investors. Investors can start with minimum $20,000 investment and then step it up from there. So, so it's a real chance for retail investors, for, you know, for you know, average people basically, 
uh, not necessarily super high net worths or wholesale investors, but you know, your average mum and dad investor who want to get an action piece in the industrial space rather than say you know a residential apartment or something like that, uh, this is a very good opportunity for them. And these assets are grassroots, they're simple assets, they're not complex, uh, they're driven by good industries and, and uh, you know, they've proven to be you know, a good strong investment base for us in the time we've held them. Glendon, great to hear about it. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. And thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed that conversation. And if you did, you can subscribe to the Livewire Markets and Market Index websites as well as our YouTube channel. And we thank you for watching.